Good afternoon, everybody. Burrow Lives here with Atasca County Board of Commissioners update. Today is April 27th. Uh, we are at a regular session here in the courthouse, and uh, I'll make this somewhat brief. Um, I'm not going to get into too much detail on some things. Um, we did have a consent agenda today. Oh, there were 16 things. I've read all about that last week. That's exactly what we had going on. We did pull one. Uh, that was a uh, county-based purchasing IM care division update uh, that got pulled today. Um, some of the, I'll, I'll just give you a couple of highlights on, on the consent agenda. We had, um, we had the, Race track uh, uh, organization uh, got uh, their authorization to do uh, races coming up. We did have an annual road maintenance agreement uh, through us and uh, unorganized townships and cities and townships, I might add. We awarded uh, a bunch of uh, fuel uh, and gasoline uh, bids out Oh, let's move on. Um, so we did have, uh, we had no citizen input today. We did have uh, some employees uh, that gave their time to our, our county uh, uh, retired from us. Um, most of them were shorter in time frame. We did have commissioner warrants today. Uh, warrants today uh, equaled 1.2 million and some change. Um, some of the big uh, dollars there, um, uh, waste management, and then we had some uh, architect architectural bills that we had to pay for our new our new jail for some of their things that were going on. Um, Go on, I'll move on here a little bit. We had uh, the Tasca County Health and Human Services give us a report today. Uh, the warrants for the Tasca County Health and Human Services, this is child protection um, and uh, out of home care. Uh, that was $1.1 million. Um, uh, I will just tell you that our child protection number for uh, this month compared to other months, uh, other years, I should say, excuse me, uh, is down, um, you know, between, you know, actual 2019 and 18 uh, out of home care dollar, which is about $325,000 uh, in April uh, of this year was down uh, back in 19, it was uh, $370,000. So we did do when we had our child protection status when they came in to be uh, assessed. We did open uh, 28 assessments, uh, resulting in eight children being placed. Um, uh, and we need to protect our children. That's about what I'm gonna tell you how I feel about that at, at all costs. Um, we did approve uh, some more money for legal expenses for real allocation for this new jail. Um, We did apply for a grant uh, with MPCA, oh, oh, excuse me. We did apply for a grant with DEED. Um, this is for the contaminated soil uh, that uh, was found uh, with this new jail. That's a 50-50 grant, uh, could be up to an 80-20 grant. Very competitive grant though, I will fair warn you all. Um, that could be anywhere from, you know, total bill on that could be anywhere from two hundred to five hundred thousand uh, dollars. That got pulled. We did have a 
nice update from Kelly Chandler with uh, Health and Human Services on COVID. I'll give you a little update on COVID. <clears throat> so in the last seven days, we've had 187 new cases. In the last 14 days, we've had 353 cases. Um, uh, our percentage is going up in our county. I will tell you, majority of that is is a family uh, family and children, young children, um, is our our growing I should say our growing number is is family and with small children. Uh, we're running about fifty percent right now. Of Atasca County residents 16 and older have received dose one. Uh, Atasca County Health, uh, Health and Human Services have given out 5,781 doses so far. Uh, and, and doses, I mean dose one and two. So they'll they'll break the 6,000 marker here this weekend. Um, There's a lot of a lot of people that are are contemplating on on getting the the shots out there. We all know that uh, Health and Human Services are working on how to um, how to how to address the hesitation uh, that people are having. Uh, we'll we'll be hearing more about that in the future. Anybody 16 plus can receive the vaccine at this point in time. Uh, Tasca County is waiting for authorization from the FDA uh, to vaccinate 12 plus. That hasn't been given out yet. Um, we do have we do have three different um, strains of this virus right now in our in our county. We have the and and they're named they're named because of where they started. We do have the UK virus, the California virus, and the New York uh, virus going on uh, in our county at this point in time. Um, I guess I'd like to give you guys a, a number here and uh, call this number if you have any questions or need any kind of uh, help with uh, vaccines. If you're homebound, uh, please call this number too. Uh, and, and if you have an organization that would like to host a vaccine clinic, please call this this number too. And that means work, school, churches, um, organizations, uh, anything along that line. Uh, no, the, the phone number is a recording at this point in time. You leave your name, your number, uh, and then they will get back in touch with you. But uh, here is the number. It is 218 Three two seven six seven eight four. So you leave your name and your number, and they will call you back. Um, there is some clinics coming up, uh, some vaccine areas on uh, May thirteenth. Thirteenth, they'll be in Kewatin, and there was one other date. Uh, it is not on my sheet here. I apologize. All right. We're going to move on. We did have a nice report from MnDOT and ARDC. Uh, this presentation was about the uh, Area Transportation Improvement Plan for 20, 2021 and future years. Um, give you an idea here locally, uh, between 2022 and 2025, uh, this is what uh, that's going to happen in Atasca County. Uh, so Highway 65 up by Togo uh, that goes up towards Little Fork. Uh, that will be done in 2022. Um, Highway 1 between, I want to say, Togo and North Bass Lake Road. Um, that's scheduled for 2023. Uh, Highway 38, uh, let me see, be County Road 14 resurfacing. Um, that will be done here in 2023. 
then County Road 7 resurfacing, that's up on, on Highway 38 to the County Road 75 in that area. That will be done in 2023. The little section of um, Kassaw 52 reconstruction in 2025. Um, so the River Road uh, gets worked on. Let me see here. Excuse me. Um, Grand Rapids Highway 2 to the La Prairie Bridge. Um, so Highway 2. That will happen in 2022. Um, so yeah, County Road 3 from 169 down to they're, they're going to put a new roundabout in it too but down to the, the Morns Road so it's about a I don't know three mile two mile stretch there um, three mile stretch there that will be handled so there is one big project coming up too um, the highway 2 to uh, from highway 65 to highway 200 so from the truck stop there um, in Swan River to uh, the section that goes over uh, down to Highway 2 uh, or Highway 200, that is going to be redone here. I want to say they moved that up this year. Uh, my, my notes here, or their map says next year, but I think it's this year they're going to be starting to do that. Um, I would just tell you that our our commissioners did drill MnDOT uh, on on things that uh, uh, we hope that they take seriously. Uh, AKA, we would like to see um, more money spent on the western side of their district one, which would be you know a task uh, uh, Aiken, um, you know that type of thing. Um, we just, we kept pushing Highway 169, Highway 65, uh, you know, Highway 53 to them. Um, so it is a, it is a thing. If you don't bring it up to them, they, they will not hear you and they'll just keep spending more and more money, uh, to the far East, uh, AKA, you know, well, how's this, you know, I-35, you know, is going to be redone again uh, this year. A uh, can of worms is going to get redone. There's a bunch of sections on Highway 61 way up past Grand Marais that's going to get redone again. Uh, so it's just a uh, thing that we have to keep on them uh, to keep reminding them that uh, Atasca County is in their district and you need to take care of our, our highways, our state highways. We did have a nice... Uh, uh, update from the North Country National Scenic Trail. This is a walking trail. Um, this walking trail, would, uh, when finished, uh, will be the longest walking trail uh, in the nation. Um, it'll be 4,700 miles long. It'll go from uh, North Dakota to Vermont. Um, some of the things that uh, they're working on right now, uh, they did get some legislation passed to help uh, uh, draw the section between Ely and uh, Grand Rapids, I guess. Uh, the best way to say there's some sections there of wetland that they had to avoid. Um, so they have got that okayed. They're working on uh, now is how to to administrator it and how to put it on paper and do the route. Um, there's a couple of things, a couple of dates here that you, anybody who's interesting in, in uh, hiking trails. Um, so they're going to have a uh, upcoming upcoming uh, public comment period. It starts on May 20th, 2021, and, and they'll have a public meeting on June 3rd, too. Uh, on, at the, the public meeting will be held at uh, ICC. Um, that's the best way to, to get a hold of uh, this. Uh, you, 
you need to go on to North Country National Scenic Trail. Uh, Google that, and uh, I'm looking for an email address or a web page on the handout they gave me, and I don't see it. Um, this in-person meeting at ICC is at between 5.30 and 7 p.m. on June 3rd. Um, so you can also look on uh, uh, Tasca County website and see their handout that they gave to us. Um, so if you'd like to see our brochure that it was given to us. We did apply for a performance grant. Uh, this is for a emergency management uh, that we put on here in Itasca County. Our emergency management uh, uh, person, uh, there is grants out there to help pay for that person's uh, um, wage. And uh, you do have to do a bunch of hoops uh, to get this grant. It is a 50-50 grant. We've been getting this grant for almost 20 years. Uh, well, since 2004, um, but we okayed to do that. Uh, and let me see if there's anything else. Um, our commissioners are working on on a numerous uh, projects. I will just tell you, uh, hopefully we'll have some great news coming up uh, in the middle of next month. Um, time will tell, and uh, but until then, I wish everybody a good day and hopefully it stops snowing. Have a good day, everybody.